latte, Arabica beans, hot. Thank you very much, food replicator. In other words, McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> hey everyone, Big Paulie back for a brand new Monday morning bright shiny hands Blu-ray hunt. Yes, we are up here in Maidstone. Hopefully it's not going to be too hot today. Feeling hot, hot, hot. It does look a bit overcast like it's going to rain soon. Who knows? But I've had my lovely latte, yes, courtesy of McDonald's. Shut up, Wesley. Yes, today's Blu-ray hunt can be an illogical one. It can be, yes. It's rather a large day today. Now, if you're a Star Trek fan, it's a big Blu-ray hunt. Yes, it's a big Blu-ray day for you. If you don't give a completely toss about Star Trek, it's just a regular day. <laughs> but I do have a rather large list here. Oh, yes, which we will go through before we go and say hello to Linda, who's just been inducted into Starfleet Academy. Yep. <laughs> this is going to get very tiresome, isn't it? It's going to be Star Trek quips all day long. Yeah. Anyway, there's the list. I'm going to put you into receiver position so um, we can turn the transporter a little bit to this side. <laughs> yes. And then we can have a look and see what's coming out today. Let's have a look then. Okay, so yes, we are in receiver position. Here is my little list that I've done. And uh, let's just go through some of the stuff that's coming out today. Of course, like I say, it's a big Star Trek day for us Trekkies or Trekkers. Yeah. Um, first of all, we have the Star Trek The Motion Picture 4K Complete Adventure. Yes. Now, I have had a delivery about the, of this. About it, yeah, of this. Um, I'm going to talk a bit about it when we get back home because this costs 60 quid and I want to talk about it. I want to talk about it. Yes. So that's that. Uh, we also have the Star Trek 6 movie collection in 4K, which is knocking the ballpark at about 100 quid. But I believe now if you buy it from Zavi, uh, use a 15% code and you can get 15% off. Yeah. And we also have individual uh, Star Treks, including the motion picture, the director's edition in 4K that comes with a lovely slip. Uh, we also have the Wrath of Khan. Khan! Yeah, you're not going to get any more of them today. <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, that's on 4K. We also have Star Trek, the search for Spock. Yes, uh, that's on 4K. It's all on 4K, yes. Uh, we also have the voyage home. Captain, I have located the nuclear vessel. And Captain, it is the Enterprise. That's a terrible Russian accent. <laughs> but anyway, that's available on 4K. I love that film. It's so light-hearted. Yeah, we also have the final frontier, which is uh, everybody's lower ones, yeah. It's still fun. It's still a fun film. Uh, it's just not industrial light and magic special effects but it's still a fun film especially the camp scene the campfire scene that's on 4k and of course we have the undiscovered country yes uh that's on 4k that's a great film okay i'll talk about more about the star trek films later on but uh yeah so our blu-rays are available for uh, i think most of those anyway uh but we'll have a look we also have peacemaker on the first, yes, the first season with John Cena. Now, I was never a fan of John Cena. Um, I mean, he barely made it interesting in Fast and Furious 9. But as soon as I saw him in the Suicide Squad, he was actually my favourite character in the whole of the film. And to have a series... It's a, it's a brilliant series. If you haven't seen Peacemaker, for God's sake, watch the series. That and The Boys are two of the best shows in the last couple of years. Uh, so, yes, that's The Peacemaker in first season. Now, I did order this originally. It was £24.99 through Amazon. Um, but uh, I can't remember who it was. But whoever you are, thank you. You put a little hint on the Big Paulie Chatting Movies page about signing up for something on Amazon and you can get £7 off. So I did that, uh, and now 
I cancelled my original order and I managed to get Peacemaker Blu-ray for £17.99. Uh, it has to be delivered, I believe, it has to be delivered to an Amazon locker though. It's something to do with signing up for lockers. <laughs> Pardon? Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm waiting for mine to arrive at my locker uh, near me. So uh, it should be here in a couple of days. Uh, we also have some Doctor Who today. Yes, the Abominable Snowman. Uh, we have a still book for that and we also have the regular Blu-ray. We have the piano in 4K, yeah. Uh, for, on vintage classics, we have the Who Dare. And we have one of those movies as well called Pleasure. Yes, that sounds good. There is also a Lethal Weapon still book out today. Unfortunately, it's not 4K. Uh, also, there is a Bonnie and Clyde still book. Again, no 4K. What are we going backwards? Uh, from Network, we have Vice Versa. Uh, we have a Day of the Dead Season 1 series. Uh, I think this was on the Sci-Fi channel, maybe. I did watch the trailer for it. It looks kind of fun. Uh, but uh, I might catch up on that and see if I can you know, start watching it after I've finished what I'm watching at the moment. Uh, we also have Deliverance on Steelbook. Uh, that's, again, Blu-ray, no 4K. We have the complete series of The Invisible Man. I am The Invisible Man. Eh. Uh, <laughs> David McCallum. Uh, we have a film called The Quiet Girl. There's not going to be much dialogue in it then if there's, if she's quiet. And we have season one of Sort Of. I don't know what that is. Yeah, anyway, that is some bits and pieces that are out today. Okay, so there we go. Brilliant bits out and bits and blah, 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 Brilliant bits and pieces that are out today. I'm the only one on the roof here. I think old Kirk is up there waiting to go. So uh, we'll say t we'll wave goodbye to him in a minute. And uh, I'm just going to finish my Arabica beans. <laughs> and then we're going to get up into town and go to our first stop, which is the lovely HMV. I've got my bag today because there's going to be a few pickups today. Oh, yes, baby. Oh, yes, beam me up. Right, okie dokie. Uh, let's go and uh, let's go and say goodbye to Captain Kirk and then we can go to HMV. Okay, yeah, all right. When you get there, let me know and I'll send you the coordinates of where the Ewoks reside and you can go and phase them. Just wait for old Kirk to beam up. Do they actually know what to do up there? You just push the little dial up and you beam up. I know, bloody amateurs. All right, see you later. Poor old Kirk's been sitting up here for waiting for about half an hour to get beamed up. Unfortunately, whoever's on the old transporter controls up there had the handbrake on. <laughs> Twat. <laughs> anyway, he's up there now on his ship and he's about to piss off. So we better piss off to HMV as well. Right, now he's buggered off. Let's go to HMV, shall we? It's actually raining. Oh my God, it's the first rain we've had in about four months. Okie dokie, let's see if Linda's operational today. Da, 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 da. Uh. Pardon me. <laughs> Linda, yeah, she's going down. Veronica's going down. Don't know what the other two are up to. They can stay over there if they want. <sighs> Waiting here for a, a turbo lift. Be nice to just beam up and then we're up at HMV. Why can't we do that? Let's beam to HMV. Level Please four. Mind the doors. Doors closing. Going down. Yes, baby, in zero gravity as well. Oh! Okay, so we're at our first stop, HMV. Let's go in. Okay, so first thing I'm seeing is a bit of pleasure. Yes, everybody likes a nice bit of pleasure in HMV. This is new from Mubi. Fantastic. What else have we got? We got some Stock to Who, The Abominable Snowman. Lovely looking steel book, £29.99. I'll leave that though. And here's the standard Blu-ray. It looks like an animated one or part animated. £22.99 for the Blu-ray. And down here we have a bit of Peacemaker. We got Eagly on there as well. £24.99. I'll talk more about this later on. Good series though. And what else have we got? Here we are on the 4K section and we've got all the Star Treks all lined up. We have a search for Spock. Yes. 
You can I bastard. You killed my son. <laughs> well, yes, this is going to be terrible, isn't it? We've got the Undiscovered Country. Yes, £19.99. They're pretty much all the same price, apart from the motion picture. Which one's this? This is Star Trek V. This is The Search for God. Yes, I thought it was Cod, the fish and chip shop down the road. Yeah. Uh, we also have The Wrath of Khan. I'm not going to do it. I've already done it once. And what else have we got? We have the Motion Picture, the Director's Edition. £24.99. Very nice slipcover. Lots of lovely colours. Fantastic. Uh, where are we? Star Trek. Oh, well, Star Trek. No, it's not. It's Bunker. Bunker 717. This is the uh, DVD premiere. £7.99p. Bit of Nazi action. Uh, this one took my fancy. I've been keeping an eye on this one. Shattered Earth. Uh, or Cloudy Mountain. Uh, I've been trying to find this one on Blu-ray. I think they may have cancelled the Blu-ray. Uh, but I can only find the DVD, unfortunately. But it looks good. And on the big sale se uh, depart department. Yeah, on the, on the racks. Annabelle comes home, does she? That's good. Where's she been? What else have we got? We've got the Blues Brothers, uh, the Cine Edition. Very nice. We've got lots of creeds here for £10.99. We've got a still book. Bit of Johnny English there. We have Jupiter Ascending with the lovely Mila Kunis. £9.99. Pitch Black, pretty good, £14.99. And a zip across to here, we have Predator with a slipcover for £11.99. Fan bloody tastic. Uh, we have Snatch here for £11.99. Some Alien Nation. And here we have American History X for £7.99. More Annabelle there. Uh, what else have we got here? We have a brilliant series here, and with an E. Yes, uh, I need to still finish the series, though. Uh, here we have uh, Basketball for £3.99. I've already picked this up for cheap as well. And we have Midway for £4.49. Very good. Good price there. Lots of lovely prices. I don't know why I'm talking like this. What's the matter with my voice? <laughs> we have a bit of Van Damme action. Uh, we have some Blade Runner for £3.49. Very good. And uh, what's this? I don't know what that is. Uh, Bridget Jones there as well. Goosebumps 2 down there. What we got? What's this? This is Gangster Squad 4.49. Yeah, got the still book for that good film. Uh, we have Duel there. And uh, we have some Expanse there, collection. Um, what else can I see? Oh, down here we have Mad Oh Mandy. Yeah, £23.49, that's the limited edition. Uh, we also have uh, King Arthur for £8.99 on 4K. Very good. And uh, here is a little look of some of the 4Ks that are cheap, all down to £10.99, £11.99, those kind of prices. Some with slips, some without slips. Yes. Brilliant. Okay, and we also have Day of the Dead, the complete first season from Dazzler. Um, I might watch this first before deciding to pick it up. Okay, so just been in HMV, picked up some goodies, dropped a ton, pardon. Yeah, uh, expensive day today. Anyway, let's go to our next stop, CEX. Okay, so we're at our next stop, CEX. Let's pop in. I do have a £32 voucher which I traded a few things in a couple of days ago, so there might be one or two things I might want to pick up if they've got any good stuff. But let's go in and have a look. Okay, we're back with a serious voice again. Yes, we have the Godfather trilogy on 4K and the Hobbit trilogy for £42 as well. And we have some -na 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 Batman and some Marvel stuff as well. Here we have Transformers, the five movie collection for 42 quid and some Game of Thrones for a tenner. Plus we have the Spider-Man trilogy on 4K and Afterlife there as well. Down here we have Ant-Man for 10 squid with a very lovely slipcover. And we also have The Shining for 12 pounds with a slipcover, very good. Uh, we have one of those uh, Avengers box sets that came out quite a while ago there. And uh, we also have Air Force One Blu-ray for £3.50. I've got the 4K. You've got to get the 4K. It's great. Yeah. Uh, Basil, the great mouse detective for £5 with a slip. Down here we have the first three seasons of Boardwalk Empire for £8, which is a great series. I wouldn't just buy three seasons, though, I don't think. Uh, here we have something called, what is this, Digimon Adventure or something? Yeah, I'm not familiar with it anyway. And uh, we have Greece, yes, and somebody's been colour coding their cases. Yes, they've, maybe they've been watching my videos. Yes, 
Look at that. Greasy. Looks fantastic. Six pounds, I think. And we have the Irishman, which is down to 15 pounds now. It was about 25 a quid originally. And here we have Lost in Space, the first season. Uh, I was trying to find this with a slip cover for bloody ages. But uh, I decided to get rid of my first season because they're not releasing any more seasons. Bugger them. Uh, we do have Olympus Has Fallen for a quid with a rather lovely slip cover. Yes. Very slippish and uh, lenticularish. Jack Nicholson, fantastic film. What else have we got? Uh, down here we got some Supergirl, the complete fourth season for £8 with a slipcover. Very good. And uh, everybody's got Disney Plus now, so yeah, nobody wants the Clone Wars. <laughs> so there's yeah, somebody's offloading loads. Uh, we have Thor Ragnarok in 3D for £5 with a lovely slipcover. Very nice. What else have we got? Uh, we also have a Teenage Mer Merton Mutant Ninja Turtles for three quid. This will make Jamie stand to attention. <laughs> and we have Zodiac as well for three quid. Never seen this film, but it that, does come with a slipcover. Okay, so we're done with CEX, so let's pop in our next stop, Sue Rider. Let's go and have a look, see if they've got anything new in. I think we'll be on whisper mode in here. Yes, uh, there's a couple of, what, 21 Jump Street, some, some Born Legacy, uh, Killers, uh, night and day. A lot of this stuff was in here last time. Yeah, I've got to keep my voice down because there's a old lady. Okay, so nothing new there. Pretty much the same as what was in there the last the last time we came up. So let's go to one of our final stops today, British Heart Foundation. Have a look, see if they've got anything. Okay, so let's pop into British Heart Foundation. Have a look, see if they've got anything new. Well, they have this Nintendo DS game here. I don't know if it's worth anything. Lots of seasons of Monk. Very good. A very few Blu-rays. Yeah, nothing worth picking up, I don't think. And some X-Files. Okay, if I had a time machine, I'd go back in time to the person that was inventing the backpack and I'd slap the idea there at their head. Okay, so last stop today. Let's pop into the Children's Trust. Have a quick look. Probably won't stay in there very long. But uh, yeah, let's go and have a look, see what they've got. Well, it actually looks like they finally got some more Blu-rays in. You see Zodiac there. So yeah, let's go in and have a look. Okay, so we have some Sucker Punch and the Val there. Ho Holy Rollers, what the hell's that? Some more 21 Jump Street. Everybody's getting rid of Generate 21 Jump Street. Trance, okay, never heard of that one before. Um, what else have we got up here? We've got some Spider-Man, the Wolf of Wall Street, Magic Mag, yes. Uh, and Big Stone Rat Gap. Never heard of it. Um, what else have we got down here? We've got some Casino Royale. We've got some Street Wars. Um, Zodiac. It was up CEX with a slipcover, so I don't know. Uh, what else have we got? There must be something else in here. Um, oh, yeah, some Eclipse, some Taken, some Hulk. Uh, yeah, Incredible Hulk there. Uh, and we also have this Black Swan with a nice slipcover. I do already own it, it's in the Poundland bin. Okay, back to the car. Oh dear me. Oh, dear. Again, another warm one today. Not so sunny, not so impactful on the heat, but it's so muggy. It's really muggy as you can see. Oh dear, and I think CEX need to sort out their climate controls. CEX Maidstone is the only CEX store. I'm standing there looking at the Blu-rays and I'm absolutely dripping. They really need to put on air conditioning. Uh, the other stores do. In fact, every single store should have air conditioning. That's my rule, yes. Everybody should obey it. <laughs> okay, so um, what did we get? Oh, well, we did get a few bits and pieces. Uh, picked up a good few titles in HMV, which I'll show you at the end of the video. Um, I had a £32 voucher for CEX. Um, nothing really took my fancy until I decided to do a store search for Maidstone and look at the steelbooks. And there was something there that I thought, yeah, that's definitely going to be worth it. So I grabbed that and I had a £32 voucher with CEX. Uh, I think the original price that they had on the on the uh, the front of it was about 55 quid so in fact i think it cost me 27 pounds in the end something like that which is a which is a bargain 
But uh, anyway, we are done here for Maidstone, so we will go home. I do need to pop into Claire's, Lou and Claire's, to drop off the keys when I was looking after Maya last week. So um, I'll see you at home in a bit. Okay, so uh, while I was at Lulu and Claire's, I got a message to say that my parcel was at my Amazon locker, my local Amazon locker, which is here in Dover, where the co-op. Um, so yeah, I need to go and pick this parcel up from uh, the Amazon hub. I can see it here, lovely and blue. Uh, I've never actually picked anything up from an Amazon locker before, so I have no idea how to do it. Uh, but uh, by the looks of it, a little guide that they gave, you enable Bluetooth off on, on your phone, um, it sends a signal and it opens a door or something. I don't know. I might be standing there like a dumbass for half an hour trying to work out how to open the locker. But anyway, I'm going to go and see if it's there and uh, see if I can work out how to open this bloody thing. Right, OK, so there's the locker. So I need to enable Bluetooth on my phone and go and pick it up. So let's see if I can uh, work out how to get this parcel out. OK, so I just enabled it and uh, flicked it and then it opened. Just look at that. There we go. Brilliant. Fantastic. That's it. So what do I do? Just close it. That's it. OK, so that was pretty painless. Yeah, so uh, just enabled the button, the little locker, the, the front door opened and uh, I just grabbed it and pulled it out and then shut it up. As you can see there, it says Amazon locker, Amazon hub locker, co-op Maxton. Fantastic. Let's hope it's got a slip cover. OK, so back in the cinema room. I'm going to record this now because, of course, it's getting darker early. So it's like pitch black by eight o'clock. So I don't want to spend too long doing this recording uh, because uh, otherwise you won't see me. Yes, and then I'll have to go and get the old ring light, pardon. Okie dokie, so very good day today. Got rained on a little bit, which is uh, very rare for this part of the country, since though we haven't had rain for months. Uh, but I think we're due some in Dover here overnight tonight and tomorrow. So we really need a lot of rain. We certainly do. And um, if it really rains, I might just walk out and just stand there and just get soaked. Yeah. OK, so what did we do? I've got, I've got a stack like that. Yeah. So, OK, first thing first, I want to talk to you about this, what I ordered from Zavi not so long ago. Um, I actually forgot to cancel my order. I was planning on cancelling the order. Uh, it is the Star Trek the motion picture, the director's edition. Um, I mean, it does come with some nice embossing up here. I haven't unboxed it and I don't plan on unboxing it. I know I said I'm going to unbox it, but I'm not. Um, as you can see, you get a book inside. It's a long book, the length of that. And you open it up and I think you open it up about three or four times. Um, as you can see, and you get a whole image along there of a, a cutout of the Enterprise and everything. Unfortunately, you get the discs like that. They're actually in the actual book. So it's one of those cutout disc holders that just slot in the in the cardboard book. Uh, but I've seen some unboxings for this and it seems like they're really difficult to get out. Uh, plus, you get a few postcards and a few stickers. Um, Somebody mentioned that they thought this was a chocolate box. <laughs> it's true. It does look like a bloody chocolate box. Um, but it was 60 quid. Yeah, what, what made them think this was worth 60 quid? I certainly not paid 60 pounds on a chocolate box before. It's And it's not even... It's very flimsy. It's very flimsy. Yeah, I know it's got embossing, but I'm not paying 60 quid for no embossing. Um, you're just getting the same discs as what you get in the regular edition. You're getting a poster, some postcards and some stickers. And they charge 60 quid. So, yeah, so that's why I haven't unboxed it. I've already contacted Zavi. 
Uh, I know they don't set the prices. It's like Paramount or the distributors that set the prices. But I did say in the in the message that I think it's absolutely disgusting that this is being, you know, sold at sixty pounds, and I have no intention of keep, keeping it. So um, I've instructed them to give me return details. I've still got the original box. I'm not going to unbox it. It's still sealed. Uh, and I'm going to send it straight back to them for a refund. Because this is not worth 60 quid. No bloody way. 35 maximum. Yeah. So, yeah. No, that's going back. Definitely going back. And the quality doesn't look that good. Okay. So, uh, let's move on to the other things that I've got. First things first, the Amazon Locker, which was kind of nifty. It was my first time actually using an Amazon Locker. So um, I just clicked on the Amazon uh, message. I got the email. Uh, there was a link to say to open it. Uh, and then there was a little button that appeared at the bottom. It says open Amazon Locker. So I pressed that button and all of a sudden the little flap opened. Fantastic. Yes, very high tech. <laughs> so I just walked up there and pulled that out, as you saw in the video, and then just closed it up. But uh, that's my first experience of using an Amazon locker. Yeah, probably won't be the last time. Uh, and uh, inside of the envelope was, of course, Peacemaker. Yes, uh, Peacemaker on Blu-ray, which is one of my favourite shows. It is just it's absolutely brilliant. And I just cannot wait for season two. Uh, I'm glad this does come with a slip cover. Uh, I managed to pick this up on Blu-ray for £17.99. So I managed to do that deal with the £7 off if you signed up for Amazon Lockers. Yeah, so uh, thank you, whoever you are, for putting that on the Big Paulie page. I can't remember who it was that put it on there. But uh, if it's you, stick it, stick it down in the comments. So yeah, I'm glad I managed to get that for £17.99. Um... Shocked that I actually got it this quick because it did say between the 5th and the 9th it would be delivered. But there you go. Fantastic. So uh, I'm just going to do a little unboxing on this one. Uh, and as you saw in the video earlier on uh, in HMV, uh, it was actually £24.95. So that's the uh, that's the standard price for it. So uh, it might still be possible if you can find that link on the Big Paulie page. Uh, and sign up for Amazon uh, link, you know, so, um, Amazon lockers, sorry, you might be able to get it for a cheap price uh, or anything else because uh, apparently it does work on pre-orders as well. So there we go. So really nice. Fantastic. Some great spot gloss on there. Uh, now, I am selling a lot of my Blu-ray TV shows, including things like Vampire Diaries, uh, Supernatural, uh, I've only got a few seasons of Supernatural and I don't think I really want to keep buying and collect, collecting the lot because it's something like 15, 15 seasons. Um, some of some of the ones that I'm selling or, or giving away, I've actually already I've got a few people that uh, are interested in some bits and pieces. Um, but I think I'm getting rid of all of the TV shows that I know I'm probably either not going to watch or not going to watch for a long time. Um, I kind of, it kind of has to be quite special for me to want to own a, a, a you know, a TV show on Blu-ray. It's got to have rewatchability, definitely. You know, the Star Trek ones are definitely. Uh, things like The Boys and Stranger Things and, uh, and other shows, Dexter, you know, they're all rewatchability. But when you get some TV shows, I, I don't even know. I'm probably just going to stream TV shows from now on. Uh, and if I do like the programme, then maybe I'll pick up the Blu-ray. But yeah, it, I was having too many unwatched Blu-ray TV shows. So I am getting rid of some. Uh, but anyway, so that is the Peacemaker. We've got a nice uh, spine title on there. We also have one on the top. There is the back, all about the show and all the cast down there. Uh, it's 346 minutes. Uh, there is DTS HD Master Audio 5.1. And there is the standard Blu-ray. Uh, we get a little leaflet inside. What's on the leaflet? 
a bit about DC. What's this? Park Row, London's first DC inspired restaurant experience. Oh, OK. Book your table now. OK, that's pretty good. Never heard of that one before. Uh, we have some adverts for, you know, what's coming to the TV and what's coming to uh, uh, coming to the cinema. Uh, we do have some inside artwork. Very nice. <laughs> we have a peacemaker there sitting on his car looking all smug. Some more pictures down the bottom. Uh, we don't have any artwork on the discs. And this just comes on two discs, really. There we go. Two standard Blu-ray discs. Uh, and underneath the second disc, if I can remove it. Oh dear me, that's a toughie. Blimey. There we go. Uh, we have, uh, looks like, episode guides and uh, episode rundowns and special features and stuff like that. Brilliant. Okay, yes, great show. If you haven't seen Peacemaker, definitely watch Peacemaker. If only for the opening intro. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I wasn't going to do that in HMV. Yeah, so there we go. So that's Peacemaker. Okay, so another one that's uh, delivered today. Thank God. Thank God it's here. Uh, because this was shipped about 10 days ago. Uh, because of the Royal Mail strikes and the bank holidays and everything. It got held up somewhere. So this is light year. Yes, finally got here. The light year. Steelbook, 4K Steelbook. Uh, I will be doing unboxing for this, separate unboxing, so look out for that. Okay, on to the biggies of uh, today. So, uh, as, I, as you saw, I've got the motion picture one there for £60, which I'm sending back. I'm going to get a full refund on that one. And, because, uh, yeah, it's 60 quid. No, no. Okay. Uh, first one I picked up is Star Trek The Motion Picture. Yes. Um, this motion picture, the first film, has always been okay to watch. Um, but I, but now with the new special effects, the new 4K transfer, and now it's got Dolby Atmos soundtrack, it's going to be a better experience. Plus it's also the director's edition as well. So I think it's going to have more rewatchability now. Yeah. Including a uh, bonus disc featuring hours of new and legacy special features. Uh, and I love the cover on that. It's got some nice embossing on there. I love the silver foil up the top there. It says down here, featuring newly discovered deleted scenes and footage. Nice spine there. And then we have all the information on the back there. And the special uh, specifications, like I say, uh, it's got a Dolby Atmos soundtrack. Unfortunately, I believe it's the only Star Trek uh, movie that's come out on 4K today that has Dolby Atmos. Um, the others don't have Dolby Atmos. I don't know why. Maybe they just wanted to do the special edition for this film first. So there we go. So uh, looks nice even without, you know, a slip cover. But uh, let's open it up and uh, let's have a look at the discs inside. Uh, now, I do already own, what have I got? I own the motion picture box set, kind of like the white box set with the slim cases inside it. Uh, but that's the standard Blu-ray. OK, uh, we don't get any disc artwork, unfortunately, but uh, we do have three discs. Uh, so we have the 4K disc there. And then we have feature film and special features. So we have the Blu-ray disc and then we have the bonus disc at the back there. So, yeah, so that is Star Trek, the motion picture. I am looking forward to checking this out. Unfortunately, I didn't get around to seeing it at the cinema. Uh, whenever I wanted to go, I was either always working or it was sold out. So it was very popular. So there we go. That is Star Trek, the motion picture. Uh, next up is one of the best Star Trek movies of all time. Star Trek to the Wrath of Khan. Uh, now, I really like the artwork. I really like what they've done with it. Um, however, uh, and it's not a major gripe. It's just a personal preference. Um, 
I would have liked these ones to have had this kind of quality with a bit of embossing and that silvery foil kind of effect. But it's only personal preference. It's still got a slip cover. It's still great artwork, but I just wish they'd just given it that little bit extra. I think they do in America. I think that all of these films have that kind of effect on, on the slip covers. Uh, but this is The Wrath of Khan. This includes the director's and theatrical cuts. Again, I couldn't get to see it at the cinema for one reason or the other. Uh, this is the 40th anniversary, brilliant artwork. Lots of special features on the back there. Um, and these ones are Dolby True HD, uh, Dolby True, Dolby True HD 7.1, I think it is. Yeah. So I think it's the same audio that was on the previous releases. But anyway, there we go. There is the Blu-ray and the 4K. So I take it these probably aren't going to have any artwork on the discs either. Uh, I think the old releases, the old Blu-ray releases, I think they had kind of like a silvery blue, kind of like a silvery painted effect, I think, if I can remember. Yeah, so two discs. So we have the feature film there in 4K and we have the Blu-ray. Brilliant. So there we go. That is The Wrath of Khan. Um, I might actually get rid of the other box set now because, you know, the Blu-rays actually come in these these editions. So I've really no need for the other box set, even though it's a really nice one. I think the other box set, I think it might be a US import. Next up, we have Star Trek 3, The Search for Spock. Yes, this one uh, includes Christopher Lloyd of Back to the Future fame. Uh, you killed my bastard. You killed my son. <laughs> Yes, and uh, this is a good revenge action film, really good. And uh, Christopher Lloyd was fantastic in there as the Klingon. So again, we got all special features there. Uh, and again, the same soundtrack, True HD 7.1. Yeah, I am really looking forward to watching all of these in 4K. S uh, see how they fare up and uh, see what the transfers are like. Uh, what I would have really have liked to have seen, and uh, uh, if you did manage to see it, let me know in the comments below, uh, the motion picture at the big screen, the actual flyby of the Enterprise. I'll bet that looked fantastic on the big screen. Uh, maybe if there is another showing during the daytime sometime or er early evening um, and I'm off, I might actually, you know, go and see it. Even though I've got the 4K, there's nothing like the big screen experience. So there is Search for Spock on 4K, and there is the Blu-ray. So happy that these all came with slip, slip covers as well. Uh, and then we have a very light-hearted one. We have Star Trek IV The Voyage Home. I love this film. My very first viewing of this was in, was in Folkestone. Actually, it was the Folkestone, the old Curzon Cinema. Uh, 1980, whenever this came out, 84 or 86, I can't quite remember which year it was. One of those years, I actually won a competition. I won a competition and I won tickets to go and see it. Yeah, it was, uh, it was all, um, based around that scene there, uh, with Spock with a headband on. Uh, and it was a caption contest in a newspaper. Uh, I think it was the Dover Express, the local newspaper, and they wanted us to submit a catchphrase. Um, and I simply put, who do you think you are? Mark Knopfler of Dire Straits. And I won. <laughs> the other entries must have been really crap. <laughs> but anyway, I got tickets to go and see it and I saw it on the big big screen. And I think that was my first real introduction to Star Trek because I hadn't seen any of the previous films on the big screen. And that was my first one, Star Trek 4. So very special, very special. And it's a very lighthearted adventure. And um, I showed the scene in this to Lulu uh, with a kidney uh, regrowth, you know, take two of these and call me in the morning, what McCoy said, and uh, the kidney transplant, you know, uh, and Lou, because Lou's had two kidney transplants on her, in her life. And she was like, oh, my God, just think one day, maybe one day. Yeah, it would have made life so much easier for her, bless her. But anyway, yes, that's the voyage home. 
so lots of special features again 7.1 soundtrack nice spine beautiful artwork and there was always one scene in this film where I figured I think they should have uh, and it was the scene when the Klingon bird of prey was hovering over the fishing boat um, I think what would have really made a great impact on that is if all the fishermen had jumped overboard and the Klingon ship had just blown the crap out of the boat. <laughs> that always bugged me. Why didn't they do that? Yeah, anyway, that is a great film. So uh, let's open it up. Uh, we're not going to get anything different inside. It's still going to be two discs, a 4K and a Blu-ray, silver. There we go, there is the 4K and there is the Blu-ray. So we know what we're getting in the next two. So that is the Voyage Home. Uh, next up is Star Trek V, The Final Frontier. The one where Uhura does a lot of singing and dancing. Uh, very comical as well with Scotty and, and Uhura. Uhura, yeah. Um, even though this is one of the lower end of the preferred Star Treks, there are some great scenes in it. There are some fantastic scenes in it. The campfire scene, um, the very emotional scene with Bones and his father, um, you know, with Cybok showing pain. And um, they probably could have gone a different way with God, you know. Um, marooned on the planet but uh, I, I really like it I really like it yeah it kind of grows on you it's kind of like the Phantom Menace you know the more you watch it the more you appreciate it in your own way um, but uh, of course it's got the uh, the famous Jerry Goldsmith music again but uh, I like the actor who played who played uh, Spock's brother as well Cybok I think it was really good I love the conversations I love the the banter between these three people, you know, the Spock and Kirk and McCoy, I think it's just fantastic. Uh, and um, especially around the campfire, it just shows how well they're connected. So there we go, so that is Star Trek V. I'm gonna watch these pretty much one after the other, you know. I do work shift work, so it's not gonna be every single day, but um, you know, when I'm on my off days, I'm gonna at least watch one and check out all the quality of because uh really want to see it in 4k so there we go so there's the final frontier 4k and the blu-ray disc and of course we are moving on to the last of the pickups and this is star trek the undiscovered country uh one of the best i think personally there are two great star trek movies from the old, the old uh, cast, and it's Wrath of Khan and the Undiscovered Country. Absolutely fantastic. I love the whole story of this. Christopher Plummer is fantastic. David Warner, just everybody, just acts the hell out of it all. You know, Kim Cattrall, she's fantastic, and uh, we're introduced to Captain Sulu on board the Excelsior. Um, I wish this had a Dolby Atmos soundtrack for the. The, for the, for the, the scene of Praxis exploding at the beginning and for the uh, the barrier, you know, the um, the warp, the, um, expl what do you call it? The explosion, oh God, I can't remember what you call it. The wave, you know what I'm talking about at the beginning when it blows up and you get that big wave coming towards you. Um, I think that would be fantastic. Uh, and they are one of the worst one of the worst, worst things that ever happened was they never commissioned a Captain Sulu series with the Excelsior. It's a missed opportunity. You know, everybody wanted it. George Takei was lobbying it for years to try and get it made. Um, the time's now gone, unfortunately. They missed it. That's a huge bum bum, definitely. But uh, like I say, there were some great scenes on, on Rura Pente, on this uh, penal colony. The great scenes at the end when the Enterprise is facing off against the Klingon ship. And um, it still gets me every time 
that even thinking about it i'm choking up that final scene with them all on the bridge of the enterprise you know this is the final crew of the enterprise under my command you know it will go on uh, soon a new crew will be introduced and they will i'm get, i'm getting it really emotional i'm getting really emotional thinking about that scene um, and I just love the way that the Enterprise goes off into the into the the moonlight or the sunlight, um, and then you get the sweeping music and then the like the signatures. You could have been the best writer in the world. You could never have come up with an ending like that. You could never have come up with a better ending than that for this crew, and uh, it was a fitting end for this crew. And um, I know we get to see a few of them in like Generations and that and a few other things, but it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. I just love it. In fact, even Star Trek V, I love every, I love every single one of them. They all have their faults. They all have their faults, but uh, they are just great films. So there we go. There's the 4K for Undiscovered Country and the Blu-ray as well. Fantastic. So there we go. So that's those. Um, let me just show you what they all look like. What they will look like side by side on the shelf. I'm glad I got that one looking like that rather than uh, keeping that other one. So there. Fantastic. Um, you see, obviously the motion picture looks a bit different. It would have been nice if the motion picture spine had matched up. But uh this was kind of like a, a special edition. So yeah, there we go. So there we go. So they are uh, the Star Trek pickups. Uh, I've got one other thing as well. Okay, so in CEX, I was looking around. There wasn't really anything I was interested in buying. Um, but when I did a steelbook search for the Maidstone store, I noticed they had this. And it, yeah, it was priced quite, quite high. Well, not really, considering afterwards I looked on eBay and that. Um, I asked them to show me it. Uh, she would not let it out of her hands. I said, can I have a look at the steel book? She says, you're not allowed to touch them. We're not going back to that again, are we? Yeah, so... Uh, <laughs> yet in Dover's CEX, the steel book's on the bloody shelf. You've seen me go through them. Oh, I don't get it. Maybe they have more theft in Maidstone, they probably do have more theft in, in Maidstone CEX. That's why they won't let you, ha you know, touch them. Uh, but uh, yeah, I decided to pick this up. Let me grab hold of it because it's quite heavy. Okay, this is Star Trek, the original series. So yeah, this is three seasons of the original show that ran from 66 to 69. This is all the remastered versions with the, the new 5.1 soundtrack. You know, the new special effects and everything. I do have these uh, three seasons already on standard. Uh, three standard jumbo ammo A's, But I really like the steel books. Um, so there we go. So that's, that's that. It also comes with the backing card as well. And then you get the three steel books. Um, there does seem to be like a little ding there on the spine. I've tried flattening it out right there. Uh, it's not too bad actually it's not it doesn't affect it doesn't affect the steelbook or anything it's just just a little bit but for the price i paid i'm not really bothered um let me just go quickly go through so yeah there are three steelbooks i've got i checked them all uh they do have the discs stacked so i think there's about three discs three discs on each side you do have like the dividers in there as well so you slot them between the uh, the dividers but i wanted this i wanted this when it first came out this steelbook series and uh yeah there's, no, there's not a single dent they're they're all immaculate and i'll tell you i'll tell you the price in a minute And then the last one, the one with a little bit of a ding on it. The steel book's perfect. It's just right there. 
it's not a spine slash or anything it's just a, a bit of a dent there we go so there we go so that's yeah three steel books which will replace my uh, my other ones uh, the only problem I, I i managed to peel the round label off which came off no problem uh, and I managed to peel the long one off, but underneath it, I noticed there was already another sticker. I don't know if this is going to show up. Um, how can I best show that? There. You see that? You can see that sticker there, which I have peeled a bit of it off. Uh, it's, it's not a problem. So it does come off. Uh, it doesn't interfere with the rest of the, the rest of the box. I am going to carefully peel it off bit by bit even if it takes me a week to peel off bit by bit uh, then I'll give it a good clean I don't really want to put cigarette cigarette lighter fluid on it because I have no idea what will happen to the box um, I will test lighter fluid on a slip cover but um, I'll wait until I get some crappy old thing from Poundland or um, or maybe a 50p blu-ray from a charity shop or or CEX something that I, I really doesn't matter if you just bugger it up uh, and we'll give that a go in fact I might actually have something that I don't really want that uh, I'll test uh, lighter fluid on a slip cover but I'm not going to test it on this so there we go so that is the Star Trek original series still book collection now this was priced up I did peel this off this was priced up as you can see there at 55 pounds now I did check Various outlets. Uh, I couldn't find it on Zavi anymore, so I think it's sold out. I looked on eBay. I think the cheapest was 80 quid. Um, and most of them were between 100 and 120. So I didn't realise it was worth that much or the value had gone up that much. Uh, but I thought 55 quid at the time was quite expensive. I don't know why. Uh, but I had 30, I think it was like 33 pounds or something, something like that. Uh, or £32 uh, a credit. So, in fact, in the end, it came out at £23. So that's all I paid. Yeah, so I, I literally paid £23 for this box set. So I'm really happy, even with that little ding. I'm not bothered about that. Maybe I'll just try and flatten it out a bit. But uh, very happy with that. The box is in mint condition. No dings, no dents. Uh, it's just that little bit with a label there, which, like I say, I'm going to just get rid of that over the next week. But yeah, so there we go. So, yeah, a very productive day today and an expensive one. Um, but I will be getting 60 quid back off that one from Zavi. So it's not all bad in the end. Um, the Star Trek ones alone came in at about £124.95. Uh, I mean, some weeks are, <laughs> are expensive. Thankfully, next week is not an expensive week. Um, but uh, I am an absolute huge Star Trek fan. Always have been. They were a definite for me to pick up. So, yeah, there we go. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like it by giving it some thumbs up. Blah, 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 blah. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and share. Stick down in the comments what you picked up, what you've had delivered. And uh, I'll see you on the next video very soon. Bye-bye.